Hello everyone. This video explains how to prepare an exam using formulas plugin. I will assume that you are familiar with e-learning. This exam has four questions. The first question f of t equal a times t the variable to the power c plus b. The answer to, the, to this question is symbolic. It is not number. It is a formula. The answer is a formula. Now, a is random variable, randomized, and b, c is randomized, the exponent of t, and b is also randomized. The idea behind that is that when a student opens the exam, he will obtain different uh, coefficients here, different exponent and different constant, and effectively he will uh, obtain different equation. Every student will obtain different equation, and he have to solve this different equation. This may reduce the chances of cheating. Now, I need to define A, B, and C. And you can see here in the variables, random variables, A from 100 to 20 with a step of 1, and the same B, and the same for C. You can choose other values and other steps depending on your specialization and your requirements. Now, the answer, and T also, I have defined T, you can see. The answer for the for this question is stored in placeholder number one. So the answer for this question is answer one here. You put here t instead of f, and f instead of t. So f here is equal t minus b over a, t minus b over a, and the whole expression is raised to the power one over c to obtain the inverse. Now answer one and number one. We go to the output. Now we put answer one here. Answer and placeholder number one the absolute error we have to choose absolute error and we, I have chosen here point one you can choose other value and the grade is three you can choose other grade 20 10 50 as you like and here the answer tab we can choose number numeric numerical formula and algebraic because I want the answer to be symbolic I have chosen algebraic formula we have finished one question now the second question f of x is equal d times cosine e x again d is randomized and e is also randomized I have defined also here d and e start and end and the step here okay the answer to this the inverse of this inverse is required so inverse is equal to here we put x and here we put f instead of x so here f is equal x over d cosine inverse as you can see cosine inverse a cosine x over d and divided by the coefficient of x which is f now is e now we have also answer two and number two we go to part two the answer two three grades also algebraic formula answer two and number two and absolute error point one we have finished the second problem the third problem now f of y equal a times then y to the exponent of b also a is randomized and b is randomized now we want the derivative df of y by dy df of y by dy this has been written by uh, LaTeX and you can write it using the uh, equation editor the answer is uh, in a placeholder number three and answer three is here this is equal a times b ln y and derivative of this is a times b over y because derivative of ln y is 1 over y so now we have answer 3 and placeholder number 3 we go to part 3 we have answer 3 and placeholder number 3 we have finished the third question now the final question is the numeric because I want symbolic and the numeric here the integration from a to b now note that the limits of integrations of integration are also random variables a and b and the integrand is a constant c which is also random variable i want the idea you can put uh, uh, function instead of constant now the answer you can write this of course using the the equation editor or using the LaTeX. now the answer is stored in number four holder and number four answer is here C the limits of integration B minus A times C B minus A times C and we go to part 4 now
part four here. I have chosen a numerical formula. I can choose number, but I want a numeric because in case the student does not have calculator, he can put the numbers with multiplication sign, division sign, exponent, and the computer or the system will uh, calculate the answer for him. Now answer four here and relative error is point 0.1 you can choose other values and the placeholder is number four we have finished the exam now we want to, to save the exam you can save changes and continue editing or save changes here you can choose any one of them now as we mentioned before that when a student opens the exam he will obtain different answer or different uh, problem now preview the students will see this screen now this is the function 3 3 15 8 these numbers will be will not be the same for uh, students every student will get different numbers now the uh, inverse is t minus 8 here t minus 8 and divided by 3 and also the whole expression is raised to the power of 1 over 15 of 1 over 15 okay so t minus 8 over 3 to the power of 1 over 15 that's the first answer the second answer it will be x over 2 here a cosine inverse cosine of x over 2 and divided by the coefficient of x it will be 3 here so it will be x over 2 inverse over 3 the third answer derivative is 3 times 8 3 times 8 as you can see the uh, student does not have to have uh, a calculator uh, and the uh, answer for this is 15 times 8 minus 3 8 minus 3 and we check our answers now check all are correct and the grade is 10 out of 10 now if you repeat the, the if another student opens the exam you can see here the numbers 3 15 8 and here 2 and 3 and here 3 and 8 and here 3 and 8 and 15 you can see the numbers will change now 11 11 3 and this is 9 7 and this is 11 3 and here 3 11 and 11 that's all we have prepared an exam and you can see that it did not take too much time if the idea is in your head I think it will not take more than maybe 15 to 30 minutes uh, thank you.